So this is a short overview tutorial of the RunKeeper app. There's RunKeeper, Map by Run, Nike Run Club. Once you get it downloaded and you're all set up and your, your account is set up, then you're fine and good to go. It's a free app. You shouldn't be paying for anything for these. Also, make sure um, because your age isn't the age requirement, I want you to check with your parents. I don't advocate anybody lying, but to check with them that it's okay. Maybe they can put in their uh, birth date or uh, they can sign up for the app and then you could use their phone, whatever. Um, whatever works for your family. I just, I'm not telling you what to do in terms of that. I want to have people lying, you know, about their age, but it will kick you out if you don't. It won't let you sign up for the app and then it's hard to get back in because it recognizes your device. So just address that issue with your parents before you download. Um, once you've got it on your phone, click on RunKeeper. Um, and then we're at the start page here. All those buttons at the bottom, we're at the middle one start. You can change settings a couple different ways with those tabs right above, but I'm going to show you the master kind of way of doing it is in the upper left corner, you see a gear icon. It's like a wheel in the upper left corner. I'm going to click on that. You can set your activity to whatever it is, in this case, running. We're going to scroll down a little bit further, and now you're going to see enable audio. St oh, actually, you know what? I like to put on this um, countdown delay too. So what this is going to do is give you like a three second countdown. That way you can press the button Wait for three seconds, then start running. For me, it's just easier than me trying to start and run on my phone, you know, hold my phone at the same time. So you can turn that on, countdown delay, and now you have a countdown, um, how many seconds you want. I've got mine at three. And then, um, oops, sorry, go back into the settings. If we scroll down a little bit further, you're going to get to enable audio stats. So you want to turn that on. This is going to be a voice that pops up and tells you where you are at on your workout, how far you've run, what your time is. It could be what your pace is. There's a lot of information it can give you. Uh, as far as audio cue voice, we've got it by the cat default, which is kind of like a Siri voice. There is the drill instructor and there is the Boston fan, and those are a little bit funnier, but uh, they will sometimes insult you and things like that. So I, whether you want that on yours, that's up to you. But uh, if you want to go by the safe one, it's the cat default there. And then if you go underneath, it says how often. We want to have time and distance down as options. And then under the interval, and you could either turn one of those off like time if you want or distance. But the thing is, it means the voice will pop up and start telling you what your update on the workout is at a certain time or a certain distance, depending on what you set here. So for example, with both those turned, in, uh, turned on um, and checked off, we would currently have it at two minutes. It means every time I hit two minutes, it's going to give me a update. I can change that to three, one, five, whatever you want. And then the distance, I normally have mine set at half mile splits. There's an assignment we do later on where you'd want to put this at 0.25 for a quarter mile. But uh, some people just do it at every mile if they're distance runners, but I kind of do shorter three to four miles. So I like to know what my half mile splits are. So I do the 0 0.50, but you can adjust that to whatever you want. That means every time I reach a half mile, I'll get another update as well as every two minutes. So adjust those as needed. We go back, uh, which stats? We want to have time, we want to have distance on. Those will be two things that will be helpful. We want to make sure that reports to us, like when we see our phone, we're looking at it, it's going to tell me how, how long I've been running and what my distance is. Those are the two main things I want. Some people like to turn on current pace. Um, that's fine too. It's up to you if you want that to help you know whether to speed up or if you're going to reach your goal. That could be helpful. I'm going to back out. And we're going to go down to... Um, uh, let's see where we at, which stats, we covered that one. Yes, we have that. Uh, underneath, you could adjust the volume and the display. We just want to make sure that it does say miles. All right, once you go, you're going to go back to that start page, hit the start button, gives you a three second countdown. Activity started. All right, you keep running, do whatever you're doing, do your workout. When you're done, these numbers will obviously all change. I'm just sitting still, so it's not. When I'm done, I hit the pause button. Activity paused. I hit the stop button. I say, yes, I'm done, just to make sure that I'm not accidentally hitting that and stopping my workout when I didn't want to. I Activity did... completed. Workout summary. Total time, 8 seconds. Total distance, 0 miles. Average pace, 1 hour, 0, 5 minutes, 0, 6 seconds per mile. Okay, so real slow pace sitting down. Um, you could put in and answer any of these questions. What I like to do is that for the name, you could always name your workout too. For example, put run unit day one, day two, whatever it is, and then that way you have it identified of when it was and what it was. Click the done button. You could also add pictures. You could share maps with your friends if they're on RunKeeper, um, those type of things. But all I need is that. We're going to hit done. More importantly here, hit save. Once you hit save, 
We've got this map. This is the screenshot that I would love for you guys to upload. You can always go through the share button here in a second, I'll show you, but this one, if you know how to screenshot your phone, boom, take a screenshot. I now can send that to myself, upload it to Google Drive, whatever it is, get it to my computer on my Chromebook or MacBook, whatever you're using, and then upload that file for the assignment and you got your five points credit. Okay, so that's that's what I would suggest because it says all your information on there, which is really nice, my, uh, time, distance, all that other stuff. And then um, for other people, if they do want to pursue, they could always look into, uh, let me go back to the share button in the upper right corner. And then with that share button, you can take a picture of your phone. It's just looking at my screen right now. You can do the map version, you can do the graphic, and then you can click share. And if you have your phone set up to where you can get to you know, your Gmail account or Google Drive, then you can get it to your computer that way and upload as well. All right, but that's one. I'll do one for Map My Run eventually, and I'll do one for Nike Run Club, but this is one to get you started if you want to try this one out and see if this one works for you. All right, have a good workout.